Now ordinarily folks, I would not recommend you fix your pictures. As you can see, the picture looks pretty good as it is. And really, is there any need for fixing? Well, I'm going to show you what you could do if you wanted to. Um, because when you've got these hairs particularly, you, you, you kind of feel that you want to add a little bit more. And it's only in this kind of picture that you would want to do that. Let me show you what you can do. Now I'm using Darla Rowney Perfect Color Fixative. It's only a small can, because you don't, certainly don't need very much of it. And I might never use it again. Uh, I've protected my background with a cloth because I'm going to spray it and you can see I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute but obviously you're going to be spraying uh, outside the area of the picture so give it a good shape it's the most important thing of all give it a good old shape up because you can, you can probably hear that rattling around in there you get all bearing okay and then when you start the spray you go evenly across it let me show you you start off the picture so here I'm going to start off the picture and then bring it in. And you see it discolouring. That's it. Put it down. Leave it. Now it's, it goes quite dark. It'll lighten up from that. And once it's fixed, I'll show you how we do it. You don't want any more than that. That is more than enough to hold the picture in. Okay? So it's a question of protect the background. Stand your picture up so you don't move it. Start the spray away from the picture and then gradually, evenly distribute it across the picture, down and across and to the bottom. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry off and then I'll show you how we can add more pastel to it. Well there we are, there's our fixed Yorkie. It won't look a lot different to you, but there is a difference. Um, what we're going to have to do now, because we fixed it, is it goes very hard and dull. Actually, more you can see it more here than anywhere else. So what we have to do is to go back in with the colours again, the same colours we've used before, and lighten them. The only benefit you would get, and I will explain these as you go along, is that the colours will be fixed. So it's like working on top of the paper again. But you have to redo it. So this is something that I don't really feel is that necessary, except in a situation like this where you've got so many layers of colour, it can be to a slight advantage. I personally wouldn't do it. I would have left it as it was. But you may like to see. It's interesting for you to see just what happens. Now, what we've got to do now is we've got to go over. I've already done this, actually, but I'll, I'll do it again just to test the water it was. You need to put the white back in. It's the white that will be subdued. Okay, so that's one ear. And the other ear is the same. That and you can put it now. Here you can put a few little extra hairs in if you want, but you need to go over the whole thing. Did you, did you see that? You see here, for instance, we can have a little bit more. So you can make them a little brighter. The darker hairs won't show up too much, but what I'm going to do now is also going to put some of the. You can see why that I'm resistant to doing it because you can you can spoil a picture but I think it's really interesting that you see it done and then you can make your own mind up now here we see we might be able to extend that just a little bit if we wanted to another one there here we can make a point on it because we've got no problem with the pastel underneath Okay, and we also need to put some more white in here. What it does, it grey. The, the white looks grey by comparison. Okay, we need to brighten that up. Anyway, I won't be do the whole lot again. <laughs> that would, apart from the fact that uh, it would be very boring for you to see it, but you can just, I think, appreciate now just how much. You can do on top. Okay, that's not bad. Quite happy with that. Let's put just a little bit more orange in. Now this is where we can. You can. You should be able to see here. Let me come a little closer so you see it better. There we are. Now, 
a little closer now you can see how much brighter we can make that. Of course the argument could be is if it was all right before why are you doing it again? And I wouldn't ordinarily do it but it's nice just to see. So many people have asked me about fixing and I've always maintained that it can be counterproductive and I really do believe it is because it dulls their work down too much and you've got to go over the whole thing again and I think that spoils in my opinion is it spoils it but it's nice to see it done if this had been for somebody I wouldn't be doing this but this is for you and therefore and you see how, how that brightened that up a little bit. Let's go to the other side and do a little bit more on the other side. In the old days when I used to use Carpathello, it was really important that we fix the picture because the pigmentation was, wasn't as strong. Now there's a little bit of benefit here where we can bring the white. See the white can go in again but it's not it's not that much better than it would have been. See a little bit more there. Had I not fixed it. It's only the areas where you want it to be Let me just show you another area that would work. If you have the 187. Now that can go on top of the black there, you see. Now that wouldn't that wouldn't have worked very well before because you would have had all sorts of problems with the black picking up, but it doesn't because it's been fixed. But what it tends to do is you lose some of the originality of the picture in my opinion. Especially if you kind of rely on the fixing. Yeah, it puts white in there. You can look at that and you think, well, that's a lot brighter. Sure, yes, it is. But it was bright before because it's only the fixing that's made the, the, the it appear darker. Anyway, that's how I would go about it. Now, let's just work this. This is the bit that I feel is really lost. Uh, some of it's... But, so we bring some white back in. I think it's lost its um, appeal as far as I was concerned. I liked it before. And uh, it's not bad now, but it's not as nice as it was. But with a little bit of help and a little bit of extra work on it, you can see it actually brings it back again. Once again, I don't want to do the whole lot. Now the other area that is wanting is with the background, because once again you've got the light, light colours here. So what you would do with that is, let me just show you on this, this side here, you would then use your finger and break the seal with your finger. You see? Well, what's the point of sealing it then? Well, there isn't. That's what I say that's the whole, the whole idea of this. But you can do it like that, and that so it breaks it up. And you can then add, if you want to, a little bit more ochre, a little bit more ivory, a little bit more green, maybe. Let's put the greens that we've used before, a little bit more green in there, and, and just freshen up. So you can freshen up the background. I wouldn't go very close to that edge again, just the edge. So that can be brought back. And then, as before, we can then just use the black just to pull out. If you'd have seen that, you'd have really liked that. I'm sorry folks, I got carried away. Right there. Anyway, it's brought it back. But that's that's not bad, so let's have a look at it. I'll finish it all off and then you can have a look at it when it's all finished. And then you'll look at it and think, I don't see much difference. Anyway. I'll let you be the judge of that. 
Well, there we are, folks, the final picture. And if you're saying, well, I don't see much difference between this and the previous one before it was fixed, you're right, there isn't a lot. Um, the only difference with this is that we have been able to put just a little bit more light in it um, and brighten it just sort of a touch. But is it worth it? I'll leave you to decide that. At least you know if you did fix your picture and you weren't really very happy of the way it's turned out because it will go dull, then you know that you can bring the thing back to life again, even the background where I've redone the background as well. Uh, so it's you don't lose out that way. But I, as I say, I think I'm going to stick to my guns and still recommend no fixing. Anyway, I've enjoyed this. I hope you have. I'll see you next time.